The wonderful thing about Taylor, if Taylor told you he was going to do something, Taylor always did it. His parents say that was Taylor Elmore, a conscientious, trustworthy teenager who was driving eastbound on this rural section of I-26 in South Carolina to visit a college. And he said he would call as soon as he got to Charleston. But that call never came. Last summer, on a perfectly clear August morning, Taylor lost control of his Chrysler Sebring, ran off the road, and into a tree. He died instantly. His father, Greg, a retired Air Force Master Sergeant, demanded answers. When I was in Iraq, I was in a bomb blast that killed 47, and um, thought that would be the worst thing that would ever happen to me in my life. But um, I came home to where I was born and raised, and um, um, the worst thing happened here. In fact, Elmore would discover there were five more fatalities last year alone on the same 20-mile stretch of road just west of Charleston. On roads like I-26, an average of 100 Americans are killed every day. And there's little margin for error. If you take your eyes off the road, even for a second, it could cost you your life. So what makes a bad road? Experts say it starts with blind curves, bad grading, a lack of center or side barriers. And in the case of I-26, it's a straight, tree-lined shot with steep slopes along the shoulder. We got some work to do on our roads. John Horsley is the executive director of the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials. Especially rural two-lane roads, that's where 60 percent of uh, fatal accidents take place. Two of the deadliest two-lane roads that fail our report card are U.S. Highway 2 in Montana, which contributes to that state having the highest highway fatality rate in the nation, and U.S. 129 in North Carolina, which AAA Carolinas called the best chance of being killed in 2008. But our interstates are deadly as well. I-95 in Florida has one of the worst rate of deaths per mile in the country. On I-15 between Los Angeles and Las Vegas, more than 1,000 lives have been lost in 15 years. And as for I-26 in South Carolina, a total of 325 people died in 286 wrecks during the last decade. If there has been a series of accidents in a stretch of road uh, that demonstrate that the improvement is, is needed, uh, and less than until you can make those improvements, people are at risk. Making the problem even worse, Horsley says, is a lack of adequate safety legislation. There are 20 states that don't have primary seatbelt laws, and there are 24 states that don't have anything on, on the books uh, to discourage either texting while driving or talking on your cell phone. A lot of states are implementing cable barriers in the medians, uh, rumble strips, and, and many other strategies to improve safety. Victor Mendez, the Federal Highway Administrator, says the Economic Recovery Act is part of the solution. Right now, this summer, we will be improving 30,000 miles of highway throughout the nation. That's about 10 uh, cross-country trips. But that is of little comfort to Greg Elmore, who's determined to hold his state accountable. A father and a veteran still fighting a war, this one back at home. If we could go back a year from now and see that accidents have dropped along this stretch of road, then we would know that you know, we've made a difference and, and, uh, and Taylor continuing to make a difference in people's lives as well. Peter Greenberg, CBS News, Charleston, South Carolina.